Well, you can catch that full show on our YouTube channel, Draw News uh, on TV. Uh, but you know, the Saglemi Housing Project was supposed to deal with housing issues of Ghanaians and address concerns of affordable housing. We've been speaking to Ghanaians about their concerns when it comes to renting affordable homes. Many Ghanaians dream of owning their own homes, but this does not come easily. Not normally, it depends. You see, when you have a good job, you are getting better pay or good pay. Renting might not be difficult for you at all. But whereby a hustler like some of us is difficult. Oh, sometimes it's very hard because uh, by the close of the year, uh, I can say maybe. Uh, uh, our work, we are not getting the work very easy for us to, uh, for it to assist us to, I mean, pay our rent. Ghana's housing deficit is estimated to hit 5.7 million by the end of 2020. Those who manage to raise some funds to find a place to lay their heads are confronted with high rents and property owners demanding long tenure fees, contrary to law. It remains an issue of concern to many. To build a house, the land is the problem. If you get the land, the remaining is a process. You go in small, small, but you, as I, you can't get going to build a house unless you plan it and you get the money small, small. Uh, but it's not easy. The issue that I have is uh, about the lands between uh, the lands owners and lands commission and the, the buyers. Yeah, that is where sometimes because of this uh, uh, crash of uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, 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 the uh, what do you call it? Um, the land gas and those things. Then if you if you take it from that angle, it's very very worried, and that's the where I don't think uh, things are going well in this in this particular town in a greater Accra because you hear it from this the very uh, and minor angles and which is wrong so I've had several encounters with renting issues uh, not once not twice it has been an issue that we, or it has been bothering us and it's not peculiar to me alone a lot of people are going through the same challenges and I know that definitely something must be done about it otherwise most people who are renting people's homes are taken for granted because they don't even know agents come in to help them and at the end of the day the agency fee alone you will pay is something that is a bit worrying uh, only thing that my landlords do is he will, tell, he will call you as, as the tenant and tell you that, oh, um, due to this economy, what, how things are, do, are going on, I want to increase the rent from two cities. I will add uh, one city, 50 pesos to it. You see, each month, he, he will tell you before. So if you really want, you stay, you pay. But me, I like my landlord because the wife even told me that if I don't have money, when it's my time to pay and I don't have money, the only thing that you can do is I should come and see the man personal. It's because I see that the man is not staying in the house with us. Well, here at Draw News, we appreciate the concerns and uh, we have put together the Habitat Fair, this year's edition, is on the theme Affordable Housing Beyond the Rhetoric and is brought to you in partnership with Echo Bank. And it will be happening on the 17th to the 18th of October at the West Hills Mall from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So uh, it's also brought to you by GHB Properties, DBS Industries Limited, Duraplast Limited, and the Plan City Extension uh, project. Well, one of the issues, main issues that will uh, come up during this year's edition is the issue of mortgaging. So you want to make a date with us and uh, join 
the Habitat Fair 2020 on the theme Affordable Housing Beyond the Rhetoric. You're watching Join His Desk with me, Dennis Abubedu Lansa. Coming up shortly in business, government launches Ghana Cares Guarantee Scheme for businesses affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We've got details in a moment to stay.